Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be finding sample standard deviation using our calculator. It says here that Katrina wants to use the average scores of the top five long jumpers at the five schools in her district to predict the average long jumps for top competitors at all school districts in her state. So when I see the words predict, and I'm using a small number to predict a large number of things, that tells me I have a sample, okay? So when I see variance and standard deviation down here, I know it's saying sample variance and sample standard deviation. Sample variance is Sx squared or S sub x squared, and sample standard deviation is just S sub x, okay? So we're going to find the appropriate variance and standard deviation of the jumps. And here's the data from her five schools. And it's feet and inches. Now, it's not so easy to work with data values that have mixed units, like feet and inches. So the first thing I would do would be to convert all of these to just inches. And the way we would do that is we would take the feet and multiply by 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot, and then add the inches. And when we do that, I've actually already done it, and I've entered it into my L1 list, we get 298.5 inches. For the first one, we get 296.5 inches for the second one we get 292.25 for the third 289.75 for the fourth and 286.5 for the last one. So what I want you to do is stop the video here and enter these data values into L1 in your graphing calculator. Once you're done, press play to resume. Okay, so I've entered my data into L1. Now I'm ready to actually calculate the sample variance and the sample standard deviation. So I press stat and I arrow over to calc and I choose number one, one bar stats. My list is L1, so I press second and one. If it were another numbered list, you just press second and that number. I don't have a frequency list, so I skip that one. Now I press calculate. So now I see here that my sample standard deviation, that's S sub X, is 4.884, and if I'm rounding to the fourth decimal place, it would be three. So that's my sample standard deviation. To get my sample variance, I could just go back to the main screen, type that in, and square it. Or I can press VARS and choose number 5, Statistics, and I'm wanting the sample variance, so that's number 3, for sample standard deviation. And now I want to square it and press Enter. And that tells me that my sample variance is 23.856. 3 if I round it to 3 decimal places. And that's really all there is to finding sample standard deviation that comes directly from one bar stats and sample variance that comes from squaring it. Until next time.